A team of instructors and instructional designers evaluated and provided valuable online and face-to-face -face feedback during the development of this course. Select themes include initial impressions, the labeling of resources, organizational tools, and optional activities. A common issue reported by online students is the feeling of isolation and not knowing what to do or where to go. A series of initial navigation links were added beginning with a Start Here page as well as an introduction video intended to address this issue. It was the first time that I had used Moodle, so it was quite fascinating to me. I actually was very um, impressed and welcomed by the, the setup, like it was a, a, a very logical flow going down. A video playlist was created to provide convenient access to ongoing videos, such as the introduction and weekly overviews. The embedded video on how to proceed uh, is tiny on my screen. I didn't know how to enlarge it. It is important, particularly in a 100% online course, to establish a sense of community. To achieve this, an early assignment was included that requires students to introduce themselves by text or video in the Week 1 discussion forum. So it made sense to me. Say, there's a lovely introduction link, and I must say when I first went there, it was lovely to have the brief video and uh, the, the space for by the main facilitator. I found it a, a, a little odd, a, a, a little lonely. Okay, well, where do I introduce myself? Who else is in this course space? Personally, in terms of the orientation, I'd like it a little earlier. An easily printable course schedule was added to help students plan their course activities within their active lives. There's times when um, uh, here, learning activity schedule. Be consistent in the naming it. It's the course schedule. The learning activity schedule is, is also the course schedule. If I open up the course schedule, it's actually called, you've titled it really? learning activity schedule. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, okay, so it's either course schedule or learning activity schedule. Which one is it? Just oh, yeah. yeah. One. Under assignments, students may not know what U or S means. I suggest spelling this out. Font sizes should be consistent. Consider using a 12-point font size. Limit the width of text to keep pages looking clean. A course map was added to provide graphical organization, particularly for those more visual students. The other thing I would say about up front is that course map, I had, I had difficulty, it took me a long time to, to figure it out. Oh, and okay. then, you know, to make the, to figure out the relations, but then I also had real difficulties trying to translate that to something that I use every day for scheduling. The getting started info is clear, but there is a bit of a hunt for assignment details. The course map is unclear. I suggest moving the how to be successful in this course to the getting started section, as it seems to fit better there by providing an overview. In a word, confusing. The inclusion of optional activities, such as self-tests and reflective journals, can have positive or negative effects in the online learning environment. Reflective journals are something that I believe should be strongly encouraged because they are so useful. In this course, there's just so much going on, and with the online stuff that I don't, if you made it a requirement, I think you would get a lot of surface stuff from a number of people, and those, the, the very intrapersonal, the very strongly reflective types, they're probably doing it anyhow, and that would just freak them out more. So I think a gentle encouragement is, is a useful idea. You'll probably notice that some of the feedback was contradictory. This simply enforces the importance of designing your lessons with your students in mind. While much of the feedback received for this course resulted in revisions, some points, for instance the reflective journal, will be left in place and re-evaluated after the first offering of the course. Then we will have a much clearer sense as to the characteristics of our learners.